Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for today. This one's going to be doing another Let's Chit Chat video for today. We're going to go through some Walking Dead stuff, some news that's come out over the last couple days, talk about some Dead City updates, talk about the new series Fallout on Amazon Prime, and some other channel updates. Alright guys, this one's going to be doing another review today, this one's going to be doing another Let's Chit Chat video. For today, we're going to go through some Walking Dead stuff, we're going to go through some other channel updates, and talk about a new series that we've been reviewing on the channel. So, um been a very very crazy week for the channel if you guys have been following some of the content we've been doing this past week we've had a lot of uploads um we've had a lot of different uh, videos that we did i think total i did like probably like damn near like definitely over 10 videos this week for sure uh probably closer to like 15 like we've done a lot of uploads this week definitely one of the most if not the most active week on the channel for sure um and uh well there's a lot of things i want to go over so First off, I want to talk about Walking Dead stuff because we do have some updates for that, of course. Um, first off, we've got the announcement yesterday that Daryl Dixon Season 3 is going to start filming in Spain as of June, which got a lot of people talking. I got a lot of your feedback on that stuff yesterday, um, and I figured I would kind of elaborate a, a little bit more on it in today's video instead of just the initial news video. Um I'm kind of with a lot of what you guys were saying, and the general consensus is that it's really cool, it's a really cool idea, I, I agree with you guys on that, but a lot of people are also saying that it's like, okay, okay, so clearly Rick and Daryl's reunion's not happening anytime soon, um, you know, and, and that's kind of the annoying part, you know, because a lot of people are saying like, yeah, Spain is cool, that's going to be cool to see, it's going to be interesting, you know, yeah, it's going to make for probably a really exciting third season for sure, but it just really pains me that we, we, we're we not getting that reunion until Norman Reedus is damn near in his 60s at this point, you know, which just really pisses me off because I just kind of, I don't know, you know, as a hardcore Walking Dead fan, it's always going to be in the back of my head is that it's like, okay, but when are we getting the reunion that we've been, you know, waiting to see, you know, and it doesn't seem like that's going to be happening, at least not right now. So, um, yeah, and you know, season three of Daryl, if I could assume anything, it's probably going to go along the lines of what season two is like, which is that back in, I think it was May or June of last year, season two of Daryl started filming. So season three of Daryl Dixon, I would assume is not going to release until next summer, next year, you know? So that'd be like, you know, probably like August, July, September, 2025. Like season three is going to take a while. It's going to be a while before we see Spain in the Walking Dead universe, but um, it's going to be cool to see it when we do next year. You know, that'd be a cool thing to look forward to for Walking Dead stuff. Um, and then, well, speaking of stuff to look forward to for Walking Dead next year. We've also got Dead City, which is deep into filming right now. There were a few other like set photos and stuff. Um, nothing too big, just Lauren Cohen on set and uh, Pearly Armstrong's actor was on set. I saw a few photos of them kind of like walking around. Um, Maggie's got like longer hair this season, which I've noticed based off of some of the photos we've uh, we've seen. Um, and then Pearly Armstrong uh, has like a blue jacket on or whatever. So, so that's pretty cool as well too. Again, I don't go over like actual them like filming stuff, you know, uh, type photos, but but this is just them walking around on set, so I figured, okay, well, we'll go over that real briefly, but they look cool, you know, they look really cool, um, I'm excited to see what they got for season two of that as well, too, and now with season three of Daryl Dixon uh, on the horizons, well, you know, we're going to be getting that uh, next year as well, so those are the two Walking Dead shows we're guaranteed getting next year, is Daryl season three and uh, Dead City season two. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to be getting anything else next year, I've also heard about the more tales of the Walking Dead show, I don't know if that's next year. I feel like it's going to be, but again, we'll have to see. Again, I'm not really in a rush to see it, so if they do it, they don't do it. I don't really give a frag, you know, but that's another one that I've been hearing about, you know, so that's Walking Dead stuff for right now. It's, uh, you know, it, Walking Dead's kind of quiet right now, but we are getting a few things. We're getting a few pieces of information, and then obviously around Comic-Con, I'm expecting the Daryl show to blow up um, and have a huge uh, impact at Comic-Con this year as well, too, which will be really cool, you know, so... Yeah, um, really cool stuff. Now, in terms of some of the other things that we've been reviewing on the channel, well, over the last uh, week or so, well, I wouldn't say week, over the last like couple days, um, 
we did eight reviews for Fallout. That's right, eight individual reviews for the new Fallout series. Now, for anybody that hasn't seen Fallout, it's a new series on Amazon Prime. Um, it's eight episodes. I can go ahead and check it out. Um, I would highly advise you guys to check it out, especially people that are into Walking Dead. Um, I would especially, uh, especially say that I think you guys would probably really like it. It's got an edge to it. It's got comedy to it. It's definitely not, you know, your traditional apocalyptic type of, you know, thing. But I think it's really good. It's based off a video game that was around in back in the 90s. And, you know, they finally made a TV show on it. It's awesome. It's really awesome. In my opinion, it's the best TV show we've had this year. Um, yes, uh, yes, even, even over Once Who Live. I know some people will probably call me crazy on that. Um, once you get to the ending of the show, once you get to the, the final few episodes and you find out a lot of stuff that, you know, kind of is going on in the show, I, I think a lot of people would be very impressed by it. So if there's any new show I could recommend you guys while we're waiting for season four of The Boys or House of the Dragon or, you know, Know, some of these upcoming events that you know we're all you know very much looking forward to um i would say until then check out fallout yeah no seriously check out fallout i think a lot of people would really like it it's got that post-apocalyptic out there in the world trying to survive type of premise uh with a character named lucy and there's also a character named Cooper who is a, an absolute show stealer. And I, I won't say anything uh, more because I want you guys to be surprised, but it's a really great show. For anybody that hasn't seen it, I would highly recommend uh, checking it out. But the reviews did really good on the channel too. It seems like a lot of you guys were digging the reviews. So we're definitely we're definitely going to cover it if we get a season two or you know anything else. Fallout is definitely something I'll be covering going forward on the channel because it's a very uh, interesting show. It's a very, very good show. I think the acting is really good. I think it's a really cool premise as well too. Um, and again, I've been, you know, very, uh, you know, I mean, the games have been around for a long time, so I was curious to see how they were going to adapt the show, and I think they did it in a great way. Um, and the thing that works about the show, too, is that unlike The Last of Us, which, as you guys know, I thought Last of Us was just kind of, you know, eh, you know, I mean, the, the show was, you know. Um, this show right here, I, I would tell you one thing right now, is that the reason why I think this show works so well in comparison to The Last of Us is because this is not a actual copycat adaptation. This is in the world of the video game. It's not, you know, recreating legendary video game characters like Joel and Ellie and, and you know, putting them on the screen and then they're not quite as good, you know, which is kind of the scenario with The Last of Us show. This, on the other hand, is in the world of Fallout in the game universe, and they're adding on to the story that is already in the games. But it's in the game canon, it's in the game universe, and that's what makes that work. Um, so well, you know. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I would recommend checking it out. Again, I so I really appreciate your guys' uh, feedback on the reviews. I, I wasn't sure if you guys were going to be vibing with it, but it seems like you guys enjoyed the reviews for Fallout. We do have a couple more Fallout videos that I want to do this week. Yes, it's that good that I am still doing videos on it even after it's done. Um, I want to do a full season review. We're going to go through the whole thing again. And then I want to do a, a Q&A with you guys as well, too, which I'll ask for some Q&A comments uh, maybe in another day or two here. Um, and for, for anybody that has Q&A comments that they want me to answer for a video maybe leading into a season two, we could do something like that as well, too. Um, so that would be really cool. Now, I also found out an update about The Boys Season 4, which I was going to do a full video on this, but I figured I was like, okay, it's not anything major, major, but it's still cool to hear. The Boys Season 4 evidently just wrapped up production on, like, the actual editing and, you know, all that other stuff. So any piece of, you know, um, work that they have to put on The Boys Season 4 is done. Like, everything is done now. All eight episodes of The Boys Season 4 is ready to go, which is really exciting. Um, so yeah, I can't wait for The Boys Season 4. That's another season that, like, in particular now that Fallout is done, that's what I'm looking forward to the most. You may ask, Dan, what about House of the Dragon? I'm excited for that too, but The Boys Season 4 my God, that's been hyped for a while. I am so excited to see that season um, and see what they have uh, with Homelander and uh, Joe Kessler, you know, uh, JDM's character, which, yes, if you're not aware, Jeffrey D. Morgan, Negan himself, is in The Boys Season 4. So, you know, maybe get caught up if you haven't seen that either. Another show I'd highly recommend. Uh, and then finally, we have World Got Mad The Prey, which came out this week, Episode 6. Uh, this episode, of course, we focused on, um, you know, the survivors at Blackberry Ranch for a little bit. We saw Jade of course, who was, you know, uh, patched up and she was looking for, you know, uh, Rob and stuff. And then on the flip side, we had Rob who went pretty ballistic and, uh, in, in trying to get, uh, his daughter figure back. And, uh, again, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's a mini series. It's a series that is uh, still running right now. It's in the world gone mad universe, my own zombie apocalypse story that I made myself. This is a spinoff to it, which you can go ahead and watch on the channel. Um, 
And uh, it's, uh, yeah, there's six parts uh, six parts of the series out now. Um, again, I'm glad you guys enjoyed episode six. I, I saw a, a little bit of feedback from you guys in the comments. Again, episodes are pretty short too, so it doesn't take too, uh, too long to watch it. It's not like the original series where some of the episodes are like over an hour long. Uh, this show, it's pretty straight to the point, uh, pretty short episodes, but they're what they need to be is kind of the way I look at it. They're what they need to be. Also, it's a webisode series. It's a mini series, so the episodes aren't going to be past like, you know, 10 minutes or whatever, but I'm glad you guys are enjoying this series again i'm not gonna say when but you guys are gonna get to a certain episode and that's gonna be the end of the mini series so anytime now you, you don't know which one so <laughs> um keep watching and then you know eventually you'll get to it and you'll be like oh i'm watching the series finale okay got it you know got it so uh that's kind of the point with that one but uh, it's 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 a fun show it's it's an adventure that's the point of it and uh you know i hope you guys have been enjoying it all the way through again check it out if you haven't seen it yet it's uh, it's a lot of fun and I've enjoyed making it a lot. So, um, yeah. So, in terms of, uh, you know, stuff coming up, um, I've got a lot of fun projects that I'm doing right now. I have a certain collab with someone that's coming up really soon. I'm not going to say anything about that. But, you know, you guys will find out pretty soon. Um, I can at least slowly start talking about it. Um, so, I do have a collab with someone. Not going to say what. Not going to say what's going on with it yet. But, um, I'm just saying. Keep a... Uh, keep, uh, Keep an eye out. Uh, I'll put it that way. And uh, yeah, we got a lot of uh, a lot of fun stuff coming up on the channel. A lot of really really fun entertainment right now. Again, follow great show. Recommend checking that out. Uh, the Boys season four can't wait. House of the Dragon season two cannot wait. Um, Dead City Daryl Dixon for next year, uh, and then Daryl Dixon this year as well too. Can't wait for that. Um, and uh, World Gone Mad the Prey. Check it out. So anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Of course, content coming up this week. Few other Fallout videos. Lots of Walking Dead stuff and uh, movie reviews as well too and uh yeah lots of stuff can't wait so anyway guys thank you all for watching if you knew the channel and you enjoy videos like this make sure to click the subscribe button to you miss any of the videos make sure to follow me on dan's the walking dead reviews instagram guys and of course i'll see you guys really soon for more videos very soon enjoy the rest of your day guys and peace out